Divre Hayamim Aleph, First Chronicles, Chapter 26. The divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korhim, Meshelem Yahu, the son of Kore, of the descendants of Asaph. Meshelem Yahu had sons, Zakari Yahu, the firstborn, Yadiael, the second, Zav, Zavad Yahu, the third, Yatniel, the fourth, Elam the fifth, Yehohanan the sixth, and Eli Ho Ienai the seventh. Oved Edom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Yehozavad the second son, Yoach the third, Sakhar the fourth, Natan El the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Yisachar the seventh, and Piultai the eighth, for God blessed him. To his son Shemaiah were born sons who ruled over the, their father's clan because they were strong, brave men. The sons of Shemaiah, Otui, Raphael, and his brothers Oved and Elzavad, valiant men, also Elihu and Semachiahu. These were all from the sons of Oved Edom, they and their sons and brothers, men of ability and strength for service, 62 from Oved Edom. Meshelem Yahu had sons and brothers, valiant men, eighteen. Hosa, from the descendants of Merari, had sons. Shimri, the chief, for although he was not the firstborn, nevertheless his father made him the chief. Hilkiyahu the second, Tevalyahu the third, and Zakariyahu the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. These, these divisions of the gatekeepers under their chief men had duties, just as their kinsmen did, serving in the house of Adonai. Great or small, they cast lots according to their clans for every gate. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelem Yahu. Then they cast lots for his son, Zakar Yahu, a sensible advisor, and he was allotted the north gate. Oved Edom, for his son, o Oved Edom, was allotted the south gate, and his sons the storehouse. Shupim and Hosa were allotted the west gate and the Sheleket gate at the highway that goes up, with corresponding guards. For the east there were six Leviim, for the north four a day, for the south four a day, for the storehouse two and two, while for the courtyard to the west there were four at the highway and two at the courtyard itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers, consisting of descendants of the Korhim and descendants of Merari. Of the Leviim, Achia was responsible for the stores in the house of God and the stores of holy articles. The sons of Ladan, the descendants of the Gershuni, belonging to Ladan, the heads of clans belonging to Ladan the Gershuni, Yechieli, and the sons of Yechieli, Zetam and Yoel his brother, over the stores in the house of Adonai, of the Amrami, of the Yitzhari, of the Hevroni, of the Uzieli, Shevuel, the descendant of Gershom, the son of Moshe, was in charge of the stores. His kinsman from Eliezer, Rechav, Rechav, Rechav Yahu, his son, Yesha Yahu, his son, Yoram, his son, Zikri, his son, and Shlomit, his son. This Shlomit and his kinsman were in charge of all the stores of the dedicated things that David the king, the clan heads, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From the spoil won in wars they had dedicated these things to repair the house of Adonai. Also included was all that Shemuel the seer, Shaul the son of Kish, Avner the son of Ner, and Yoav the son of Tzeruiah had dedicated. In short, if anyone had dedicated anything, Shlomit and his brothers were in charge of it. Of the Yitzhari, Kanan Yahu and his sons were assigned to be over Israel in regard to outside business as officers and judges. Of the Hevroni, Hashavia and his kinsmen, 1,700 valiant men, had the oversight of Israel west of the Arden in regard to all the business of Adonai and the service of the king. Yeriah was chief of the Hevroni, according to their generations by clans. In the fortieth year of David's reign, the Hevroni were sought out, 
And there were found among them strong, brave men at Yazer in Gilad. King David appointed 2,700 of his kinsmen, valiant men and clan leaders, as overseers over the Reuvini, the Gadi, and the half-tribe of the Manashi, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. End of First Chronicles, chapter 26.